Let's look at a second example of conducting a proportion test. What is your favorite color? A large survey of countries, including the United States, China, Russia, France, Turkey, Kenya, and others, indicate that most people prefer the color blue. In fact, about 24% of the population claim blue as their favorite color. Suppose a random sample of 60 college students were surveyed, and nine of them said that blue is their favorite color. Does this information imply that the color preference of all college students is different from that of the general population? Okay, significance level, alpha is 0.05. The original claim is about 24%. That's one of the top three. Different means either way, not equal to 24%. Okay, N is 60. 60 times 0.24, that's 14.4, that's above 5. <clears throat> okay, so selecting blue is called the success for this one, and that's P value of 0.24. Not significance level um, P value, I'm just talking about probability of success. That's the 24 I was talking about. So 60 times 0.24 is 14.4. That's above 5, greater than 5. All right, so failure would be 76%. 60 times 0.76, 76 or NQ is 45.6. That's also above 5. So we're going to use a standard normal because NP is greater than 5, and that's 60 times 0.24. NQ is also greater than 5, 60 times 0.76. Q is failure. Okay, so we're going here, our sample statistic. We have 9 out of 60. All right, so one sample proportion, 9 out of 60. Our null hypothesis is 0.24 not equal to, that stays the same from the previous problem, generate results. Okay, so we have a Z statistic of one, negative 1.63. Negative 1.63. And it appears Champ can only be thirsty during one of my videos, so that's him drinking water. He's a 20-pound dog, but he drinks like he's 80 pounds. P-value is 0 0.1026. 1026. Hey, too many zeros. Okay, so not equal to means we need two tails of testing, or shading, excuse me. All right, P is 0.01, alpha is 0.05. Well, this time P is less than alpha, so we're at less of a risk of making a type 1 error than we accounted for or allotted ourselves in the beginning. So we're going to reject the null. P is less than alpha. P, oh, hold on. Point, I still didn't get that zero out of there for some reason. Get out of there. I don't know why it's... There we go. It wouldn't let me delete it. Okay. So let me take that back. P is greater than alpha. <clears throat> if P is greater than alpha, you do not reject the null. Fail to reject the null. Not statistically significant and there is insufficient evidence in our sample to conclude that the true proportion of college students favoring the color blue differs from 24%. All right, now let's do this one on the TI-84. Again, we're gonna go to stat tests
one prop Z test, one proportion Z test. Our null hypothesis is 0.24. For this problem, we had 9 out of 60. 9. Whoops. Out of 60. Our alternative hypothesis is still not equal to. We'll leave that alone. Now, had we been less than or greater than 24%, we'd had to have switched it. But we don't have to switch it again. It's not equal to. Z value negative 1.63. Negative 1.63. Our P value 0 0.1026. 0 0.1026. P is greater than alpha. Do not reject. Fail to reject the null. Conclude our data is not statistically significant and there's insufficient evidence. Again, all that wording will go hand in hand.